tagged by two of my favourite beauty gurus here on YouTube, Alexa, Smoky Pink Leopard, and Ingrid, Miss Glamorazzi, of course, as always. Ingrid is in this video. Um, so, yeah, it is the beauty guru tag, and this is actually a really, really cool thing. I'm kind of excited to do this because I get a lot of questions on my form spring especially about how I got into making YouTube videos, um, what I think of it, how to get more subscribers and more views and things like that. So there's eight questions in this, so I'm just going to get right into it and um, answer them for you guys. First one is, how do you feel about getting bigger on YouTube? Um, to be honest, it's something that's kind of like a cumulative thing. I totally did not realise this was going to happen. When I started out, I remember I put my first video up and I got, I think, maybe 50 views in the first few days and I was blown away. Like, it was absolutely amazing. I just couldn't believe that 50 people would want to watch. It just kind of escalated from there. In the first few weeks, I think, I had, um, 50 subscribers and that was like so exciting for me. I remember saying to my boyfriend, when I get 50 subscribers, like, let's go out and have like a little celebration or go for a drink or something. And then I did it again at 100 and he was like, look, this is happening so fast. We've got to stop kind of doing this. Otherwise, we're going to be going out for a drink every night, every time you get 50 more or whatever. So it did just kind of escalate from that. And even now, I just get so excited. Every like little milestone that I reach is just like so exciting. And I still can't believe that that many people want to watch me talk about makeup and myself. And it's just so great that there's people wanting to watch me. I, I'm kind of like bemused by the whole thing. But it is great and it's just exciting. Every day, like, I'm just so excited to like see all your comments and things like that. Okay, so the second question is, did you ever think you would get so many viewers? That's kind of like I answered it in the other question. These questions are kind of difficult because I'm kind of just rambling a little bit about my whole experience. But no, I never thought I would get this many views. I, like I said, I was so like over the moon when 50 people watched my first video. I just couldn't believe it. It's crazy because I just don't think about the scale of some things until they're put into perspective. And I went to a concert the other weekend and my brother was there and he looked around and said, Fleur, there's like 40,000 people here. That's like the amount of hits that you've had on some of your videos. And like, that is just crazy. Or like half the amount of people there like will watch one of my videos like on a regular basis. Like it, you see the amount of people that it is and it's crazy, like insane. And I think you don't quite register how big that is and I was just standing there like wow this is crazy like my Mac competition video before it got deleted annoyingly had like 60,000 hits which isn't a lot compared to like the huge huge people around there but that is a lot for me and I just looked around that concert thinking that was more people than were there and it's unbelievable like just totally unbelievable so yeah I didn't think that I would get as many viewers as I do Okay, so third question, do you answer all of your comments? I don't answer all of them, but I answer most of them. Um, I read all my comments. I still get, I've still got the settings on YouTube where I get an email every time somebody makes a comment on one of my videos. Um, I get an email every time someone subscribes or sends me a message. So I see who subscribes, I see everyone's names, um, and I read through all my comments. The ones I reply to are if it's a question, um, or if it's just, if it's saying something really sweet and I just feel like I reply, I can't reply to everything just out of time because I get like a lot, a lot of comments on my videos. If you look in the um, comments section in a lot of my videos, I've got like hundreds of comments in like a few days or whatever and I just can't reply to all of them. So I do reply to the ones that are actually asking me something. Sometimes if I don't reply, it might be because um, if you've asked me a question like what nail varnish are you wearing or something like that, usually I'll put it in the information box of that video. So if people like ask me that question when the information's already there, sometimes I don't reply just because it's kind of a waste of time. Like, so this is a warning for anyone that any if you ever want to know like what makeup I'm wearing or stuff, sometimes it's not there, sometimes I do forget to do it. But most of the time it will be in the information bar. So check down there before you like ask a question because you might know the answer already. Um, the best way to ask me a question that I will answer is on Formspring because I do go through all my Formspring questions. Um, I usually don't answer anything if it's rude or like inappropriate. Um, a lot of people that watch my videos are quite young um, and I'm aware of that. Like I just don't want you seeing somebody being rude or like just disgusting on my channel. So I won't respond to that um, on forms or anything. I usually just delete those. Or if anything's personal, like asking me what town I live in, I'm really sorry but like I don't want to give that away. So I do try and answer all the questions. Um, number four is um, just hate. 
I guess that's like, what do you think about haters and all things like that? To be honest, um, I've been quite lucky. I haven't had like, I know Alexa talked about like a period of hate. This is probably jinxing me and I'm probably going to get it now. Um, but she talks about like a period of hate that everybody goes through. And I haven't really got that. Mine's been quite consistent, but not, not a lot at all. I've been really lucky. The way I look at people that write hate comments is that at the end of the day, they never have photos, they never have videos, they never have their name. Um, hate on Formspring, they only do because they're anonymous. It's things like that. Like People are just looking to get a rise out of you. Um, so if you are like just starting up or whatever and you, you're getting really bothered by hate messages, just ignore them, please, because the people that leave them will probably write a mean comment and then never think about it ever again. And they just probably, you know, they're probably not one of your followers or whatever. And the amount of hater comments, like, pales in comparison to the amount of great comments I get from you guys every day. So you just kind of have to take it with a pinch of salt. If anyone's really mean, I just delete them or block them if they're rude or, like, really inappropriate. But um, I've been, like, kind of lucky with hate. I say that, but, like, I'm, like, preparing myself for a massive thing after saying this. Maybe I deserve it after saying that I don't get it. I don't know. Um, okay, so question five. How much time do you invest in YouTube? Um, and a shameful amount of time. Like anyone that makes YouTube videos will know how long they take to film, how long they take to edit, upload. I actually have quite a slow internet connection as well, so they take ages to upload. I go on YouTube for probably an hour first thing in the morning before I even like have breakfast and have a shower or whatever, just to check everything over, reply to a few emails. And it's the last thing I do before I go to bed. Um, as for how long I actually spend in the daytime, it depends what I'm doing. At the moment, because I've just finished my finals at uni, I've got quite a lot of time on my hands. It's the summertime, so um, I'm spending quite a lot of time on YouTube and I'm making a lot of new videos and stuff. So it's kind of like um, an everyday, like, like a big chunk of time every day. Whereas if I'm revising or if I'm taking my exams or at uni or whatever, obviously I'm not gonna be able to spend so much time, but I do invest a lot of time into YouTube um, and it's a big part of my life, but it's not like, a chore doing it like I'm sure anyone else will say if they make videos that it's just so great like you getting the feedback from videos is just amazing like it's just so much fun and interacting with everyone it's just it's just a great community to be in especially the beauty community because it is so close and everybody chats to everyone and it's just a really kind of friendly community to be involved in okay number six do your parents know about your channel? Yeah, they've known like right from the beginning. It was actually my mum who convinced me to um, to start up my channel. I've been watching videos for like a year before I even started making videos and I didn't really tell anyone about it. Not a lot of my friends are into makeup that much. I like they like it, but they're not like obsessive like me. So um, I told my mum about it one day and she was like, oh my God, show me and was so impressed by the whole thing. She was like, Flair, you can do this. Like, why are you being so shy? Like you should like make some videos yourself. And so she kind of inspired me to do it. And she's been kind of the one that's like pushed me to do it the whole time. So my mum's like really supportive of it. She loves the whole thing. Um, my dad, I think is just kind of blown away by it. He doesn't quite get it because he's a guy and most guys are a bit dumbfounded by the whole beauty YouTube thing. Um, but he likes it and like pretty much everyone I know um, knows about it. It's not something that I hide. Like when I first started doing it, I was kind of embarrassed at what people would think. Um, but after a month or so, like everything started going really well and obviously like people were watching it. So like, and you know, if people judge you, they're probably not worth bothering about anyway. So everybody knows about my YouTube channel, like that's close to me in my life. I put it on my, um, on my personal Facebook and things like that. So I'm not secretive about YouTube at all. Um, number seven, how do you become more successful? This is a question that I get asked a lot, like numerous times every day by a lot of people. And if I don't respond to you, I'm really, really sorry because I do get asked the same question. So from now on, if I get asked that on Formspring, I'm just gonna direct you to this um, video here. So basically, there's more things not to do rather than things to do. Um, very similar, like I agree totally with what um, Alexa and Ingrid said. I'll put the links to their channel if you don't know them already. Um, Alexa was talking about not spamming people, like posting on someone's wall, oh, sub for sub, that's just like, people, it's just not the right way to go about it, if you know what I mean. And I get a lot of emails being like, I'm starting up a new channel, I'm going to put up my first video tomorrow, can you give me a shout out? Like, I love to do that for people that I watch, and to be honest, like, I'm not going to give you a shout out if I haven't even seen your videos. Like, if you have a great channel, by all means, like, tell, like, 
send me a message, send me on Formspring or wherever in my inbox and say, you know, this is my channel, like, I'd really like it if you checked it out. And usually I do go and try out and check all these new channels. Obviously, I, I get quite a lot of emails, so I can't do them all. But if I do like one, I'll subscribe and, you know, if I start watching your videos and enjoying them more, then I will give you a shout out. You know what I mean? Like, I like to keep my channel very honest and I don't like, I wouldn't want to just give somebody a shout out just because they asked me. Like, I actually want to know that I enjoy watching their videos and would recommend them to all you viewers. So, um, that's another aspect of it. And the other side of it, which I think Ingrid stressed a lot more in her video was that you shouldn't be doing it for the wrong reasons. And I'm going to take a little bit of a different perspective from it to the one that Ingrid did in the fact that you've just got to be yourself in your videos and you've got to have fun. Um, try and keep it regular. Um, if you're putting up like a video one, like every day for a week and then don't put one up for two months, you're not kind of like keeping on the radar of your subscribers. So if they go back every few days and you've got a video there, you're going to like um, keep their interest running and things like that. So it's important to keep your videos regular, just have fun with it and be yourself and you know, don't kind of like try and get there when you're not there already. It's all just a cumulative process, like I said before. And you know, you'd be surprised if you just give it some time. It does take time. You're not gonna just instantly like go bang and you're there and everyone's seen you. Like it takes time for people to um, notice you online and things like that. Another great way is just to get more involved with the community as a whole, like set up a Twitter account, a Formspring account, um, make sure you're keeping in touch with all the people that watch you, all other beauty gurus, you make friends, and it's all just a load of fun. So you do have to keep it fun and lighthearted and just try and enjoy yourself. And that's the only real advice that I've got to give about how I got more subscribers and more views and things. And the last question is, what do you love about YouTube? Um, I think the best thing about YouTube for me has been meeting people who have like a similar interest in makeup, especially people like Ingrid, who I've actually been in contact with for quite a while now, and you kind of become friends, and um, it's really great. The, I, one downfall is the fact that most people that I've made better friends with on YouTube have been in America, and I can't meet up with them. I've met some really, really lovely girls um, that are in the UK, but most of them are actually bloggers rather than YouTube girls. Um, so yeah, it's kind of annoying that it is so international because obviously I'd love to go and meet them but the world is such a big place and um, it's, it's expensive to go to America so um, yeah, that is a downfall but I just love the whole community as well I've said this already again but um, the beauty community is just such a huge and involving kind of community to be part of it's so great so um, this has been my beauty guru tag um, it's kind of just like my YouTube story really um, I'll put a list of a few people that I tag below, but if you see this and you want to do it, um, then I'd love to see it. So um, I will speak to you soon, guys.